dogs will receive care and attention before moving on to shelters and rescue groups. Rebecca Aldworth is the executive director of the Humane Society International Canada and has brought in Cinder. Tell me a little bit about Cinder. Cinder is an amazing dog. She has spent her whole life in a dog meat farm and yet she is one of the most friendly, sweet, gentle dogs that I've ever come across. Now, the circumstance, a lot of people at home are gonna hear, you know, a place that produces dog meat. How does this happen? Well, 2.5 million dogs are slaughtered every single year in South Korea for their meat. Um, literally five dogs every minute are killed um, in this country. And it's a horrific industry. The dog meat farms over there keep dogs in horrific conditions. Uh, they're in barren wire cages with no protections from the element. Um, and it's really, really sad for dogs like this who spend year after year with no love, no attention, no veterinary care, barely any food or water. Uh, tell me about the rescue that, that got her to Canada. Uh, this was an incredible operation. It's our 10th dog meat farm closure in South Korea. Humane Society International transitioned the dog meat farmer to a more humane industry, and we brought more than 170 dogs out of this horrific facility uh, back to the United States, to Canada and the United Kingdom. Uh, your 10th rescue, I mean, tell me about the, the first time you did that. I mean, it, it must have been shocking for you. It's overwhelming. You're talking about hundreds of dogs that are kept in the worst circumstances you can ever imagine. Um, these are places where barren wire cages are stacked over months of accumulated waste. The dogs are fed this horrible um, uh, concoction of restaurant waste and water. Uh, they get very little food, very little treat, uh, veterinary treatment or mm -hmm. care of any kind. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about about, um, the interaction you had with the farmer I mean what is that like trying to convince someone to essentially halt their their business the thing is that many people that are involved in the dog meat industry in South Korea want out of it and what we're trying to do is create an economic model that shows that you can transition these people into more humane industries so that the government of South Korea can follow uh, how is that even a business? I mean, people in, in Canada won't understand that. Mm -hmm. uh, the dog meat trade is a huge industry. 30 million dogs are killed for dog meat every single year. Um, it's spread throughout Asia, um, most uh, primarily in China, but in, again in South Korea, 2.5 million dogs every single year. And we believe that there's a real opportunity to change in South Korea. The Winter Olympics that are coming up are going to shine a global spotlight on South Korea. Mm -hmm. It's a very good time to pressure the government to do what we're doing and transition these dog meat farmers into a new industry. Uh, Rebecca, tell me a little bit about the, the latest dogs that you brought here. How are they doing and, and what eventually happens with them? This was one of the worst facilities we've ever seen. Um, again, these dogs were kept in barren wire cages. Many had open sores all over their own bodies from being forced uh, to live on the wire. Uh, they, they had very little food, they were emaciated, and they're really, really frightened. Um, it's going to take some time and tender loving care to bring them back and to teach them how to love and how to trust again. Ashley's giving her some treats here, but you know, there are people at home who are gonna say, how do I get my hands on Cinder? Well, uh, they can go on to hsicanada.ca and they can contact us and express their interest in adopting one of these deserving dogs. We're asking people to open their hearts and open their, uh, their homes to these incredibly deserving dogs. They really need a second chance and they really need a holiday miracle. Um, so if they want to contact us, we're happy to forward their coordinates to the rescue groups we're working with. Rebecca, Ashley and Cinder, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Doing great work. Great work. We'll be back after this uh, short break. Stay with us. I'm Ann Lee, the CTV News Channel Weather Center with a look at your forecast across the country. We do a snowfall warning to tell you about for parts of Ontario, 15 to 20 centimeters of snow per morning as you head through this evening into tomorrow. Another low pressure system moving its way through, bringing in a lot of snow for 